in politics there is only one parameter to measure the ability of any leader and that is whether he was able to fulfill the promises he made to the public and today if we look at the tenure of narendra modi government who has led india since past 10 years narendra damodar modi why not evaluate and see the current status of those promises made by narendra modi when he swore in as the prime minister of india in 2014 But first, we will scan how India was before the reins were handed over to Narendra Modi as Prime Minister. We know that when Prime Minister took over, India had a decade of policy paralysis coupled with massive corruption and severe economic crisis. PM Modi had a dual challenge to not only undo what the decade of UPA government had done to India, but also to give proper direction to India. And it was during one of the election rallies back then that he narrated this beautiful line in his speech. and gave the slogan of vote for india chunav mein dal ke liye vote mange jate hain itne sare chunav hue desh mein dal ke liye vote mange gaye hain lekin main chahta hu 2014 ke chunav mein dal ke liye vote na manga jaye desh ke liye vote manga jaye vote for india vote for india so today in this video we will talk about how prime minister modi has fulfilled his promise by focusing on every issue on which he had appealed for vote for india 10 years back bhrashtachar se mukti ke liye vote for india pm modi once said that those who become an obstacle in our efforts to eradicate corruption should pack their bags because the country does not need the services of such officers Well, he did what he promised, broke the shackles of corruption with which India was chained before 2014 by taking continuous actions against bribe-taking officials. Many corrupt IAS and IPS officers were in fact made to forcibly retire and were removed from their jobs. The law on money laundering was strengthened. ED, which had seized only rupees 5,000 crore in 2014, seized assets worth more than 1 lakh crore. well we all know that corruption not only destroys the talent of the country it also promotes nepotism so our second point is that only that pm modi said bhai bhatije baat se mukti ke liye vote for india pm modi from the beginning of his political career has been fighting for freedom against nepotism aur jab main bhai bhatije baat parivar baat ki baat karta hu to logon ko lagta hai main sirf rajnitik kshetra ki baat karta hu ji nahi durbhagya se राजनीतिक क्षेत्र की उस बुराई ने हिंदुस्तान की हर संस्थाओं में परिवारवाद को पोषित कर दिया है इंडियाज एक्सीलेंसी इन स्पोर्ट्स वॉज चूजन इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेट एग्जाम्पल्स बाई पी एम मोदी टू अटैक दिनेस ऑफ नेपोटिज्म ऐसा तो नहीं है कि देश के पास पहले प्रतिभाएं नहीं रही है ऐसा तो नहीं है कि खेल कूद की दुनिया में हिंदुस्तान के नौजवान हमारे बेटे बेटियां कुछ कर नहीं लेकिन सिलेक्शन भाई भतीजे बात के चैनल से गुजरते थे और उसके कारण वो खेल के मैदान तक उस देश तक तो पहुंच जाते थे जीत हार से उन्हें लेना देना नहीं था लेकिन जब ट्रांसपेरेंसी आई योग्यता के आधार पर खिलाड़ियों का चयन होने लगा पूर्व पारदर्शिता से खेल के मैदान में सामर्थ्य का सम्मान होने लगा आज देखिए दुनिया में खेल के मैदान में भारत का तिरंगा फहरता है भारत का राष्ट्रगान गाया जाता है कुशासन से मुक्ति के लिए वोट फॉर इंडिया एंड वेल इट्स नॉट ओनली स्पोर्ट्स इवन व्हेन इट कम्स टू गवर्नेंस पीएम मोदी इज मॉडल इज लॉडेड एवरीवेयर व्हिच इज मिनिमम गवर्नमेंट मैक्सिमम गवर्नेंस दिस मींस दैट अ कॉमन मैन कैन इजीली रीच द गवर्नमेंट एंड द गवर्नमेंट कैन आल्सो इजीली कनेक्ट टू द लास्ट पर्सन लेट मी कोट सम एग्जांपल्स हियर आधार वाज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड टू गिव आइडेंटिटी टू एवरी सिटीजन रेड टेपिज्म वाज रिमूव्ड टू मेक वे फॉर ईज ऑफ डूइंग बिजनेस ई गवर्नेंस मॉडल वाज एस्टैब्लिश्ड एंड डिजिटल इंडिया वाज लॉन्च्ड एंड इंपॉर्टेंट प्लेटफार्म माय जीओवी वाज लॉन्च्ड एंड द होल ऑफ इंडिया गॉट कनेक्टेड टू इट टुडे अ रिकॉर्ड मोर देन 3 करोड़ पीपल आर रजिस्टर्ड ऑन दिस प्लेटफार्म Furthermore to simplify the most important tax process one nation one tax was started in 2017 with GST it is due to these efforts of PM Modi that India has now become one of the favorite destination for investors while PM Narendra Modi was the chief minister of Gujarat he used to say that in my state investors do not have to flatter politicians or bureaucrats because we have well laid down policies and i believe that the country can progress only when we end red tape 
No red tape, only red carpet is my policy towards investors. Daritra Narayan ki bhalai ke liye, vote for India. For decades, Congress was just stuck with one slogan of Garibi Hata. But PM Modi, instead of raising slogans, he connected with the poor in reality. The Prime Minister Jandhan Yojana brought the last mile financial connectivity to Indians. Today, the number of its beneficiaries has increased to more than 52.39 crore. Through direct bank transfer, the benefits of social security schemes such as Pradhan Mantri Suraksha Bima Yojana, Atal Pension Yojana, Pradhan Mantri Jeevan Jyoti Bima Yojana are also being directly delivered to the beneficiaries through this. And not only this, PM Modi also connected the street vendors through Pradhan Mantri Swanidhi Yojana, under which loans up to rupees 50,000 were started to be given to the street vendors at a very low interest rate. So far, more than 67 lakh people across the country have benefited from this scheme. Next we have Bharat ki ekta ke liye vote for India. The first thing which comes to our mind after hearing the word United India is the historic decision by PM Modi cabinet to abrogate Article 370 following the 2019 win. A ticket back Jammu and Kashmir was the hotspot of terror activities, but today they are celebrating the power of democracy. Compared to the UPA, terrorist incidents decreased by 68 percent in the Modi government. In the last 10 years, the Modi government has signed more than 10 agreements in the northeast, and more than 10,000 insurgents in various states of the region surrendered and started their lives again. In 2014, there were about 200 Naxal-affected districts in the country, which has now been reduced to just 38. Between January and September this year, more than 700 Maoists were arrested, surrendered, or were killed in encounters. Modi government believes that the country will be free from Naxalism by 2026. Next promise of Modi government was of Ek Bharat Shreshth Bharat ke liye vote for India. Ek Bharat Shreshth Bharat. With the motto of Ek Bharat Shreshth Bharat, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is engaged in binding the entire India with the thread of culture. Today, whether it is the construction of Sri Ram's temple in Ayodhya or the renovation of Kedarnath Temple, Kashi Vishwanath Corridor or Mahakal's Mahalok, Char Dham project, renovation of temples in Jammu and Kashmir or the hoisting of the flag in Pavagharth Mata Mandir after 500 years, the centers of Indian culture and civilization are regaining their old lost glory. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has also been vigilant about the two oldest languages of Indian history, that is Sanskrit and Tamil. Whether it is the establishment of the sacred Sangol in Parliament or the Kashi Tamil Sangam program being held under his guidance in Prime Minister Narendra Modi's Lok Sabha constituency of Varanasi, the idea of Ek Bharat Shreshth Bharat is being continuously strengthened. Now let's move on to vote for India. Vikas ki rajniti ke liye vote for India. Do you know that there was a time back in 2013 when our economy was counted among the fragile five, but today our country's economy is making its mark in the world. India's GDP has grown by 162 percent since 2014. The average income of an Indian has increased by more than 135 percent since 2014. India's banks are in a strong position and despite facing the covid pandemic the treasury of the indian government is stable last year india became the fifth largest economy in the world leaving behind britain in fact according to morgan stanley analyst by 2027 india is on its way to becoming the third largest economy in the world leaving behind japan and germany To add on to our achievements, we successfully hosted the G20 summit, became the first country in the world to land on the south pole of the moon, and our stock market is touching new heights every day. This is the wonder of Modi nomics. A decade back, India was infamous for its poor basic infrastructure. But today, you see the wonders of India's development. There is an endless list to what Modi government has achieved in terms of development in India. With that, we move on. Best ki raksha ke liye vote for India. जन जन की सुरक्षा के लिए वोट फॉर इंडिया डू यू रिमेंबर द स्टेट ऑफ इंटरनल सिक्योरिटी टेन इयर्स अगो बॉम्ब ब्लास्ट इन पब्लिक प्लेसेज वर कॉम इन साइड बट नॉट टेरर इंसिडेंट हैव बिकम अ थिंग ऑफ द पास्ट पीपल हैव बिकम मोर कॉन्फिडेंट ऑफ द करंट गवर्नमेंट लुकिंग एट द स्टेप्स दे टुक इन रिटेलिएटिंग अगेंस्ट आर एनिमीज इन द ईयर टू थाउजेंड एंड सिक्सटीन वन द ऊरी टेररिस्ट अटैक टू प्ले द इंडियन आर्मी कैरेड आउट द सर्जिकल स्ट्राइक In February 2019, after the Pulwama terrorist attack, the army carried out the Balakot air strike. The Indian Air Force entered Pakistan's airspace for the first time in 48 years and destroys Jaish bases in Balakot, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province. 
नेक्स्ट वी कम टू मोदी जी प्रोमिस रहने को मकान के लिए इंडिया अंडर 2014 कांग्रेस डिड नॉट इवन थिंक इट अप्रोप्रिएट टू गिव अ रूफ टू द पुअर प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी हैज फुलफिल द ड्रीम्स ऑफ दिस पुअर पीपल टू द पीएम आवास योजना द ड्रीम्स ऑफ पुअर टू हैव अ परमानेंट हाउस इन द रूरल एरियाज हैव आल्सो कम ट्रू अंडर द प्रधानमंत्री आवास योजना ग्रामीण 3 करोड़ परमानेंट हाउसेस हैव बीन बिल्ट हियर Seeing its success, the government thought of arranging permanent houses for the poor living in cities, and the urban version of this scheme was launched. Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana under one crore eighteen lakh houses have been built under this scheme. With this comes the next promise. Khane ke liye, anna ke liye, all for India. This promise made by PM Modi was fulfilled when, in the year 2020, during the Corona pandemic, the Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Anna Yojana was launched. The beneficiaries of this scheme get 5 kg of free food grains per person, and the number of Indians benefiting from this scheme is 81 crore. You will not find an example of such a big scheme for food security in any other country of the world. Modi government not only provided food grains but also ensured one nation one ration card to get this food in any part of the country and free gas connection to cook this food. PM Ujwala Yojana in which BPL families get free gas connection and 12 cylinders on subsidy. You can guess the success of the scheme from the fact that LPG gas which was introduced in the country 60 to 70 years ago could only get 14 crore gas connections in 2014. But with the Modi government coming to power in the next one decade 33 crore LPG connections were given out of these 10 crore 30 lakh connections are of PM Ujwala Yojana. Next comes बीमार की दवाई के लिए वोट फॉर इंडिया आयुष्मान भारत प्रधानमंत्री जन आरोग्य योजना हैज बिकम वन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट हेल्थ केयर स्कीम्स इन द वर्ल्ड टुडे द मेन मिशन ऑफ आयुष्मान भारत इज टू इंश्योर दैट नो इंडियन इज डिप्राइव्ड ऑफ हेल्थ केयर ड्यू टू देयर फाइनेंशियल स्टेटस टुडे मोर देन 55 करोड़ पीपल आर एलिजिबल फॉर फ्री हेल्थ केयर सर्विसेज अंडर दिस स्कीम So far more than 7.5 crore successful treatments have been done in this on which more than 1 lakh crore rupees have been spent also jan aushadhi kendras where medicines are made available to the poor and the deprived at low prices by the government has helped people save more than rupees 28000 crore so far next is vote for india shiksha mein sudhar ke liye vote for india let me show you some data to confirm that pm modi fulfilled his promise for education progress in india In the last 10 years 390 universities 15 new aims 16 triple iits were opened in addition to that seven new iits and seven new iims were opened in the country new national education policy was initiated in 2020 and a total of 1.4 crore youth have been benefited from the skill india scheme next is swalambi bharat ke liye vote for india शक्तिशाली भारत के लिए फॉर इंडिया द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सेल्फ रिलायंट एंड पावरफुल इंडिया इज दैट अनलाइक एनी फॉर्मर लीडर्स ऑफ इंडिया प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी इज हर्ड एंड एक्नोलेज वेल ऑन इंटरनेशनल प्लेटफॉर्म टूडे इंडिया स्ट्रॉन्गली प्रेजेंट इट्स व्यूज ऑन द वर्ल्ड स्टेज एंड इज एबल टू प्रोटेक्ट इट्स फोर इंटरेस्ट बाई मूविंग अहेड विद द नेशन फर्स्ट मंत्रा गिवन बाई प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी India is one of the only countries today who can without fear say that today is not the time for war. India is doing both, buying oil and weapons from Russia on one hand and on the other hand it is also a strategic partner of America and western countries. With this we move on to the next promise. Sano ke kalyan ke liye all for India. In the Modi government every decision was taken from seed to market to empower the farmers in order to reduce their difficulties and increase their profits. farmers have become self reliant and empowered to the prime minister kisan samman nidhi this crop insurance scheme is also a safety shield for farmers in case of crop loss more than 700 krishi vigyan kendras across the country are connecting farmers and science through the namo drone didi scheme our mothers and sisters in remote areas are also being connected with technology in the year 2013 14 the budget of the agriculture ministry was 27663 crore which increased to rupees 1 lakh 32470 crore in 2024 25 and minded that this budget is only for the agriculture department there is a separate budget for agriculture related areas and fertilizer subsidy urea and dap are being provided to farmers at cheap rates now 
लास्टली वी हैव द प्रोमिस नारी के सम्मान के लिए वोट फॉर इंडिया पीएम मोदी हैज बीन द फॉरमोस्ट लीडर हु रियलाइज्ड हाउ इंपॉर्टेंट वुमेंस कंट्रीब्यूशन इज इज इन द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द कंट्री स्कीम्स लाइक उज्ज्वला फॉर गैस कनेक्शन स्वच्छता फॉर वुमेंस टॉयलेट्स एंड जल जीवन फॉर टैप वाटर इन होम्स हैव नॉट ओनली सिंपलीफाइड द लाइव्स ऑफ वुमेन बट आल्सो प्रोवाइडेड देम विद द सेंस ऑफ सेल्फ रिस्पेक्ट एंड कॉन्फिडेंस under the mudra yojana program 68% loans have been provided to more than 27 crore women this has enabled crores of women across the country to become financially independent by making them entrepreneurs the modi government has also named the schemes made for women in such a way that it is directly touching the hearts of women steps like beti bachao beti padhao yojana providing gas cylinders to women through pradhan mantri ujwala yojana opening accounts under jandhan yojana legal abolition of triple talaq for muslim women has taken pm Modi is resolved further. Furthermore, the passing of the Women's Reservation Bill is going to prove to be a milestone for Indian politics. By achieving so many milestones, today India stands strong and ahead of the leading democracies of the world. It is the firm value that has revived our historical glory and laid the foundation of a better future, making Prime Minister Modi an identity of our nation.